I'm actually grateful for balancing myself in a sense of um, I find that I always put my uh, physical aspect first in life. I would be up all day doing curtains, doing beads, but then I find that physical aspect is good, but you have, have to balance it with spiritual aspect. And I find when you balance your life with spiritual aspect, things is prosper more. We have to put God in our life in everything that we do. It has priority, and I find that very beneficial for me. And this adjustment that I, that I have made, and I find it, it's working out really, really well. Even sometimes when things get complicated, and you rely on Jehovah, it helps you to make things a little more easy, more soothing, and the things that get complicated work out so fine. I'm studying how this happened. It's just by balancing spiritual things with physical things. Spiritual things have to be first priority in our lives first, then our physical aspect in life. And everything balanced out just the right way. I find that working wonderful for me. It's great to be here. Most of all, I'm thankful for life. But most of all, coming out and being in this Women in Business Association for Sustainable Development. If I'm to look where I was, if it's a look now, I can say my attitude has changed to some extent because I'm a person I always try, I always procrastinate and I'm glad I break the bondage of procrastination and I'm able to excel with Miss Sonia's Sonia Noel motivation. I was able to aspire and more and more and more. I'm seeing each, each and every day I'm seeing development of myself and so much and I'm thankful for that. Uh, my dear friend, Sister Frenny, I met her when we had the first expo at Texas, and there's such a bond of other um, friends here too, networking and so forth, so I'm glad for that. Yeah. Grateful for life, and I'm happy to be here this afternoon with all you beautiful ladies. I want to thank God for the breath of life, because if he didn't wake us up this morning, where would we all be? I want to thank God for Dr. Sonia Noel. In 2016, I was at the Women in Business Expo. Just by calling her, I was able to get into the expo, and my life has never been the same again. Last year, I had one product. This year, I'm able to have a line of product. And by the way, and by the way, I manufacture hair and scalp conditioner, natural hair and body care products made with coconut oil. And I love her energy because if everybody could just take a piece of her, we would all be very strong women. She motivates you, she pushes you. So I'm so grateful for that, thank you. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had with meeting with Sonia and going to the Women in Business Expo. And from since then, Sonia has got me on the go. <laughs> She really, she got this zest and this energy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so true. So I'm thankful for that, and I pray that I will get the strength and with the help of these women to continue to do what I'm doing. <laughs> I am grateful for a renewal. Last year was a very terrible year for me. I had several losses. Um, I had to close down my practice because I was not well. And it feel as if it felt rather as if my entire life was at a standstill. And because of the support of family, Miss Noel, of friends, of the women of um, Association for Sustainable Development, and because of course of the support of God, I was able to reopen my practice and as the song said, things have doubled, doubled. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. double, double. And <laughs> so, you cheer for that. So out of a, out of what seemed to be a dry well, came bountiful profits, and I'm grateful for the renewal that has brought that to me. I'm thankful for every single thing in my life, even the ups, even the ups, downs, everything. Because if without those down moments, you wouldn't be able to to grow. With those, ex with those bad experiences. So I am grateful for every single thing in my life. But most of all, God, thank you. Well, I'm actually grateful for my mother because without her, her support, I won't be the woman I am today. And I'm still growing because she always pushes me to do my best. And also, 
what I've learned from the expo also, you need self-confidence. And that's very important to your business, because you are your business. You don't think that your business is a different entity from me. And that is one important thing that I learned, because usually, I'd be always, oh, this is not going good, and so on. Those things, you shouldn't complain about it. You should always try to do your best. So this afternoon, I'm so thankful for being here. Of course, I must give God praise and thanks, because only this morning I spoke with Miss Sonia, and I was so dumb. And she, just hearing her voice, just, it motivated me so much to be here. And I want to give God praise and thanks, because in everything we do, we have to give God praise and thanks. Because this, the Bible said you put him for us, put God for us, and everything else will be added on to you. So I want to thank God for being here with, with you ladies. And I hope this wouldn't be the last. I'm not in the country as regular as, it, I, as I would like to be, but I hope that the next time I'm here, I will be with you guys. Everyone, I am very much grateful for God, like everyone else here is. But most of all, I must say I am grateful to be in this room right now with you wonderful ladies. Mm -hmm. And this is all because of the Women in Business Expo and uh, the Beauty and Fashion Expo last year. And with Miss Noel's guidance. And I'm looking forward to many more meetings like this one. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure being here today. Uh, it was very tight, uh, Sonia. You know, when you work in to make a 345 appointment, but um, it's only because of you. I don't do this for nobody else. I don't leave my work. You know I love you. Yes, <laughs> my work comes first. Um, it's real nice. I, it's it's going on. It's been a year, going on to two years. I met some wonderful young ladies at the Women in Business Expo. I've met some great friends, friendships from the Women in Business Expo. And I'm very grateful to Sonia. Not only to, she pushes you, like you would all know, she encourages you. Uh, over the past year, I had some ups, downs, ups in business, downs in health wise, but like everything and everybody else, you know, you put God first, you trust Him, and you know, you move forward. You don't let your downs stop progress. So, um, you know, trust in God one step at a time. I was telling my husband today, we will take one step at a time. So, you know, um, we don't know, you know, if you look to your left and your right, you don't know who's sitting next. You might know the person, you don't know what the person is going through. And so it is really nice to see women coming together and um, supporting each other and I would encourage you pray for that person next to you because you don't know what the person is going through and um, you know we might be looking all smile and looking all good but something is going wrong finances health wise circumstances at home we don't know so just continue as a body to encourage each other as women with that person which is Miss Sonia Noel who has so much awareness G and has dropped it all upon us. <laughs> Believe you me, I don't know where we are not finding it, but I just know I just find it whenever it comes to being here or being around anything that Sonia have. Only recently we were at the, um, the Ranre retreat and we had a wonderful time. I wish we had all these ladies here. We really had fun and I'm um, looking forward to many more events like that where we could come together as women and show our love for each other and our concern for each other and look forward for the growth of our business through the other women because I might be here and somebody might, might not have known that um, there's garlic available in supermarket and who, who peels it, I'm the person who does that kind of work and they say, oh, that lady belonged to our group. I have to buy her garlic. And so we promote each other um, to that extent. So I would like to say thanks to everybody here this afternoon. Do look forward in seeing you again at our meeting. And I am so honored to be a part of the committee, to be sharing with all you talented, beautiful women who have contributed not only to the growth of your own business, but I believe to the growth and development of women in Guyana. 
I feel like it's a it's a step that needed to be done and thank God Sonia took it up. Um, Sonia knows how I feel about her. She knows how I feel about her contribution and what she's doing. And I hope to see her on a bigger um, stage. I hope to see her forward. I hope to see her as one of the people who will go down in history for making a difference in Guyana. And I am so emotional about this because I really feel strongly about her position and where she is supposed to be. So I wish you all the best and I hope that your business grows from day to day. And I hope we can contribute to each other and to the growth and development of every woman in Guyana. Wow. Well, that's a good thing to hear. Um, I think that comes from my passion. I absolutely love people. But I had to love myself first before I could love anybody else. And I'm passionate about the creative sector. And like Mel, I get emotional sometimes when I know that it can be further, but it's not. So um, again, I love you ladies so much. And I mean, I know sometimes I can be very harsh. Yes, yes. <laughs> but you know what? When I push you, I see something in you. When you see that, I am like, oh, no, 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 don't even tell me no. I know you can do it. And I'm going to keep pushing you guys. Some days y'all probably come out the phone and say, the red woman is really think she what? <laughs> well, I'm going to do it anyway. Because somebody got to do it. You know, so I'm very, very happy to be leading the charge for the Women Association for Sustainable Development. And, um, but I, w I would want to, I met this young lady. I was um, at the Startup, Startup Grind event last Tuesday. And I met this young lady who shared on um, IT and telecommunication. And um, I thought about, I said, you know what, why don't I invite her today to come and share? Because some of the things that she said would benefit you guys here. Because no matter what business we have now, IT seems to be the way. Because, I mean, I'm not an IT person, but trust me, it's like a necessary evil, like you need to get involved, something like that. And um, there are the things that actually she wanted to get into, and we are going to actually do a one-on-one -on -one to see exactly how it can be um, disseminated among the group. But now I'm going to call on her to do her presentation so that we can pick her brain and see where, what she has that can benefit us. We want some benefits, right? Yes. Right, for, us, for our business to get to the next level. So, Danella. What we at the Ministry of Public Telecommunications, we want to do is not only just stress the importance of using these technology, but we also want to empower you to be able to use the technology. So a lot of our outreach is going to be about providing education opportunities, talking about training opportunities, trying to empower you to be able to do the same to other women, to spread the word that use ICT. It's a very, very important and beneficial tool in empowering you as a businesswoman, you know, you know, allowing you to control your business, grow it, reach new lengths, new heights. You know, there's so much. It's 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 the uh, the potential for your growth. It's unbelievable. So um, just again, you know, if you don't use it, I encourage you guys all to make an email account, get on social media. Every single day, you're gonna send out to your followers. I'm doing this today. This is what my business does. Just doing those little things, you'd, you'd be you know, surprised at how much it can help you, help your business, and just putting your word out there. And um, you know, I also spoke about it before, but again, I feel like women in business, you guys have uh, a tremendous opportunity to provide the same kinds of chances to other women. Uh, you know, sometimes we, if you need to hire somebody, you, you, everyone, we all want, you know, the most qualified, but I want to challenge you business owners to sometimes maybe not the most qualified, but look at someone's potential and, you know, you have the opportunity to maybe give that woman a chance to get better. So if you're going to hire people, hire a woman, you know, allow her to, you know, you're going to help her get some training get her to do some computer courses, things of that nature. And what we are going to do is just to continue to focus our uh, work into getting to you, into providing these resources to you, because when women do well, the entire community does well. That's our role in this world. So uh, just be a sister to somebody else. If you work with women, use the resource to allow, you know, that mom, she might need to take a day to be with her baby. You can 
you know do emails you can reach her through emails or Skype so use those technology to be able to give you give yourself some more flexibility and to allow her to do the best of both worlds um, so I just want to ex extend that challenge to you you know a lot of times when we get into these positions we forget what it was like those kind of difficulties we all faced so we started in the beginning so just uh, let's be each other's sisters and just commit ourselves to using our position in the world to help another woman ahead. And my thing is using ICT to do that. You're going to use whatever your skills are to be doing the same thing. So I'm so very, very happy to be here among all of you women. And, and I know you guys are all doing a lot of interesting and groundbreaking things. So you guys are... You're really doing it. This is, you know, you, you, you have your talent and you're making your own way. Yeah. Don't let anybody ever, ever tell you that that is not as great as it is because y you guys don't understand. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and it's awesome. So I wish you guys all the best of luck and be your sister's keeper. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present Melba and Danica and then Danella is going to present to Ruth on behalf of Mona. For the, the most active social media. Remember we had this prize that who would post most and whatever, but well, you know Mona gonna get it, right? The yeah. Mona sleeps on the internet, right? <laughs> so Danica, you have the prize for the, the best small display. Yay! I love cupcakes, that's the name of my business. And I want you to know I love cupcakes, so you're gonna bring some for me yeah. soon, right? <laughs> And may you go from strength to strength. And I know you will. <laughs> you see this young lady here? I can remember getting this call from this young lady two years ago. So over a year. The first woman in business. And she was calling from Barbies and very, very shy. It's like, I don't know, I, I just want to venture out, but you know. So, I'm very bold. And I told her she needs to get out of the box that she's in. And trust me, the woman gets out of the box. Because <laughs> the Melba that I'm seeing now and experiencing now to the Melba I first met. Come, and don't, don't, don't let's go to her talent. That's another story. She is super, super talented. Um, every time I pass coconut trees and you know the things fall down, I'm so glad it's Melba. It's because she does a lot of recycling and so on. Beautiful arrangements. You probably would have seen her. She sprays them and so no, no, she does more errands for her like walls and you know, really beautiful. Let's go on her page. Um, and so she had the most impressive big boot display. So this is for you and the hard work that you put in. And I've seen tremendous growth in you. I'm very, very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sonia. At this moment, I'm surprised, but well, it's good that. You know, you have acknowledged such, and I'm going to continue to work and better to reach my destiny. You know, we got a plan, right? Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. 